No ripples, no waves. Just calm, serene movement. There are no ups. They move with single emotion and uniform direction. We need waves. Let's make one. The perfect curve. Cricket or symmetric yet? Perfect. That curve holds the power to make a wife happier with her husband. Resolve a feud, even, and war. Now, not really at war, but it's a strong curve. It's a semicircle drawn by the lips, maybe one corner pointed, cheeks indented, teeth flashing brightly, eyes curling slightly, sparkling. A curvature, an art. That curve engulfs anyone, criminal, warrior, savior, brother. Have we lost compassion? No, we haven't lost it, but we're losing. We need to push through and make moments better, and I promise you, it's easier to make moments better because there's two sides to every moment. That moment requires you. Your importance is important, and your ability is available. Look at me! Give a moment. Look at me. Now smile. <laughs> Our generation has not lost the ability to smile, fortunately, but that does not mean we constantly do so. Smiling is a shining momentum that can literally change our perspectives on life. A happier life is a more successful one. A smile can change us to make us seem more attractive and confident. From a Penn State study, researchers indicated that those who smile appear to be more likable and courteous and give off the vibe of competent and confident. It can change us physically to better us. The smile is a leakage trickling happiness into our system, probing our brain to a more relaxing mood, with mood enhancers such as endorphins, adrenaline, serot serotonin, readily reducing the stress. Even when a smile is mocked, the brain is triggered to proceed to a more content state of mind with mood enhancers such as endorphins being sent straight to the brain. Endorphins, combined with another mood enhancer, serotonin, allow for a pinnacle of content pleasure. It's a self-produced drug, and it's legal. <laughs> Not only will a smile change and manipulate a single individual, it can totally change a room's ambience. As found by Uppsala University in Sweden, it is very difficult to frown while looking at someone's smile. So I say, why not get the world sick with such a remarkable contagion? As well, a person's lifespan directly correlates with their smile span. 2010 Wayne State University researchers indicated so. They proved by studying pre-1950s Major League Baseball cards that those lacking a smile had around 72.9 years of life, while those with beaming smiles came out with around 80 years to live. A big enough smile can result in a lengthy, pleasurable living standard. A smile can also be measured in a unit we all know and deeply love. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate's a well-known pleasure inducer within all humans. Ron Huebman, CEO of HealthTap, found so. He even found that one smile is around 2,000 bars of chocolate. Yep, that creamy, prestigious European finery is only a fraction of happiness compared to that of a smile. See, four, children smile over 400 times a day. Now that's a lot of chocolate, yeah. <laughs> More than a third of the human race smile over 20 times a day, while less than 14% smile less than five. I mean, sure, 14% of the world is a large number, but compared to them, we're pretty well off. But see, people aren't that well off. Grown-ups don't smile half of what they did as children, and children not nearly as much as when they were born. A trend that is haunting humans. 3D ultrasound technology proves children to be smiling while in the womb constantly during a sleep, and even more when in contact with the human voice. Why then do we need to understand the importance of smiling? Because it is essential to understand that this little grin has so many little perks to fulfill your inner cravings, to promote a habitual ability to smile, mocked or real, because I believe those 14% who don't smile enough should. We are often seen as an egoistic, inconsiderate race, but our ability to push through those 22 muscles to curve upwards, whereas it takes 37 to frown, 
is what can better us. The world is not a sad, gloomy, God-forsaken atrocity, no. But it's not a utopian society either. It's a far-fetched goal, but so that's not my goal. I'm not saying keep a happy, unchangeable mood, but smile, people. Literally look at the people buying the same pack of chocolate as you and give a cream, because you'll get 2,000 times the happiness as opposed to eating that bar. But effects aside and actions involved, be your inner child, no, be your inner baby again. Let those positives into your system, because we're part of a greater society of all human beings. So smile, to give a little to this greater society, smile, to win waves into your still waters, to create ripples, positivity, and revolution for success. Thank you very much. I dedicate this to a girl who has the world's greatest smile. And something that would really make me smile is if she accepted my proposal to prom. You know?